Hi everybody, Patrick here from Engineering Shock Electronics, engineeringshock.com. I am going to scurry through, uh, we're going to make a quick uh, interface using the RoboRemo app so we can communicate with our LoRa kit via Bluetooth. And uh, this is the last supplementary video, so just watch along. You can get the free RoboRemo app or you can get the, uh, the, the paid RoboRemo app on the App Store. It's a great app, easy for Bluetooth interface amongst other things. So I'll click on it and go to Menu. I'm going to go to Interface, uh, select, now let's do 4, 4 is a new one. So um, this is easy to use, oh, come on, get back in focus, there we go. So I'll click on the menu, or, and I'll say uh, Edit UI. So I'm going to click anywhere on here, right here, and I'm going to put Button. So I'm going to drag the button over here, I'll click on the button, and I'll say Press Action, Set Press Action, and let's just do a 1. So it's going to send a one when I press it by by Bluetooth. And okay, and I'll do release, and we'll do K. So now we'll do another button over here. Button. Come on, there we go. And I will say set press action one two, okay, and then release action also K. So we've got two buttons. You can make this however, as big as you want. There's lots of great tutorials online, Instructables. It's an easy app to use. Uh, you don't need to make buttons. You can do sliders. You can do a bunch of stuff. So I'm done now. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to load, load this with the Bluetooth software, which we'll get to in a second. And then I'm going to go back to the menu. And then I'm going to say, don't edit UI. So now what I'm going to have to do is once I've loaded my software into this into the LoRa kit, I'm going to go to menu and I'm going to go to connect Bluetooth, and I'm going to find the uh, ESP32 test. I'm going to connect to it, uh, and then I'm going to be able to use the app with the code. So let's load the code onto the uh, uh, onto the LoRa kit. Okay, so what I'm going to do is. Um, if you follow the the instructions on installing the driver for the Hell Technology Tool and installing the libraries, um, what you can do is you can go down to do, 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 um, Board Manager. If you don't already have this, um, where is it? Board Manager, and you can search ESP32 once it actually boots up. This is kind of a pain. So ESP32. And I've already got installed, so you can install these. Um, I don't think you should need to install that. I think you should already have it. I've already got mine installed. And uh, you can update it. Updating is always nice because if you run into problems with compiling, that's uh, that's why, <laughs> usually, because you don't have the most up-to-date software. I've already got it installed, ESP32, and uh, um, I can remove it. But uh, doing that will allow for you to get a nice, sweet, basic piece of software. So go to Examples, go down to Bluetooth Serial. I need to make sure that I'm actually connected to my LoRa board. This is actually one of the most important parts is in order to actually download your, to your LoRa board, you need to go down to Board, and you need to select uh, ESP32 um, or Arduino, and you need to use the Wi-Fi LoRa 32v2 because that is the v2 this will not work this will not work this is the this you need to have this one uh, installed you don't need to worry about any of the other connections here but you need to double check that it's connected and it's in this case it's connected to com8 um, and so uh, I'm going to I would go to examples if you don't have this set up you're not going to see these under examples I don't think so I need to go to examples and you go down to Bluetooth serial and you should see something like this and uh, serial to serial BT is the one you want, and here we go. This is it. It's basically just imports the serial, the Bluetooth library, sets things up. Uh, you can call this uh, whatever you want. This is the important one. You set uh, your your baud rate. You might need. You're going to need that when you open your serial monitor. Remember, it's not 9600. It's 115,200. Now you can name this. I could name this Uber Goober, and that's how my phone would receive it. <laughs> just for the sake of this. Just leave it as ESP32 test, but you can name it whatever you want. And the loop, uh, the loop is the same. It's just it reads, 
it reads the uh, what's what's coming in from the Robo Rima app. You can at that point do whatever you want with it. If you receive a one or a K or a two, do something. This all this is doing is reading it and printing it to the serial monitor. So I've already got this uploaded. If you if you try to upload it and you get some weird stuff like uh, comp compiling errors. Or let's just say you, you, you uh, when I first downloaded this to the Helltech board, what happened to me is it would upload, but I would get constant resets. I open the serial monitor and my Helltech module would just keep resetting, rebooting, saying that there was a fatal error. And it's because it didn't have the most up-to-date libraries. That is a, that if you run into a problem with your libraries or with, with not compiling, you don't have, something's missing. You either don't have the right um, JSON file which uh, is used under, uh, which is all explained in the, the setup link from Helltech, uh, or you just haven't updated your libraries. In any case, so I'm gonna, I've uploaded this, I've got it connected, I'm gonna go to Serial Monitor. Serial Monitor is already open, I'm just gonna close it. I'll open it again, Serial Monitor under Tools. I'll make sure that my baud rate is set to uh, 115200. And now I'm gonna go back to uh, my phone. Okay, so now I'm going to go to Bluetooth, the top, hold it, and you're going to want to wait until it shows up at the bottom. As you should see at the bottom, available devices, ESP32, test, but I've already paired it, so when you see it show up, you want to pair with it, and then you should see it show up on here. And as you can see, I've already paired with it. So if I go back to the RoboRemo app, um, I'm going to go to Connect, Bluetooth, and I'll find ESP32 test. I'll just select slot one and I'm connected. So now I can I can send uh, values with the app. So hold on, I'm just going to uh, loosen this up and take my phone for a ride. So you got nothing on the serial monitor. Press one, one K. So I press one. It sends one, I let go, K. If I press button two, nothing until I let go, K, two, K, two, K. And that's all I'm doing. It's easy, it's, it's easy peasy limit squeezy. It's the easiest Bluetooth thing you've ever seen. And here's the funny thing. I don't even need the, the support board. I can remove this and just power it up here and it does all the Bluetooth by itself. Of course, you can add all sorts of elements of, of support to it, but you've just created a Bluetooth app with your lower board and it took you no time at all anyway i hope you really enjoyed this video it's very simple uh... learn more about romo remo and you'll have you'll have bluetooth access to your lower boards as well thanks so much for watching everyone